a very good morning and thank you very much for coming for uh, this class. Uh, I would like first to thank everyone, the on-campus students, the online students, the e-learning academy team for all the efforts that you guys have been putting to, make, to making this module a uh, success. So I really thank you very much for that. Uh, this is, as you know, is our last teaching week for the on-campus students. While for the online students, the course will remain on for at least two more months. So those who have joined later, they can still work on their business plan and eventually take the test. And uh, those who will successfully complete will have the um, uh, opportunity to get a certificate. So I also wish the on-campus students uh, all the best in their uh, written test that they are going to take um, in two weeks from now. Now, uh, this is the beginning of the last four hours of our direct interactions. And um, I decided that we do an epic kind of event or activity whereby we will try to put everything that we have worked on for the past 13 weeks together. So the exercise that you guys are going to work on is to establish or to come up with a business plan to establish a new um, coffee shop on campus. So as you know by now, uh, Taylor's University Lakeside campus is uh, a home for around 12,000 people between students and staff. And we have a variety of places where we could you know, sit, hang out, have coffee, have a discussion. And, and these range from uh, Starbucks to uh, the no frill kind of option with varieties of you know, prices and products and customer experience. Uh, so uh, why would, what I'm going to do is I'll separate you into three teams and I would like a team to go uh, to Starbucks and do some observation and try to write the value proposition, write down the value proposition for the Starbucks. What do you think the value proposition is? Another team would go to the mid-range kind of coffee shop, which is called Old Town White Coffee, and also try to decipher what is their value proposition. And another team to go to so-called the no-frill option and see what is the value proposition for them. Now, once we do that, and we are happy with whatever we've written, we come, we've observed, we come down here and maybe we take a board and try to really write it in one or two sentences. And um, what I would like you to do is to go and observe. Now, people may say, okay, observe what? So I'd like you to go and observe the place, the prices, the customer behavior, the staff behavior, the uh, experience, what are the customers doing? Um, so, so for example, you go to Starbucks, you'll find people maybe, I don't know, doing their assignment, working on the, do you, do, do you see the same behavior in the uh, no frill uh, uh, outlet or, or a different behavior? Then from that, hopefully together, we could draw the landscape of the market here. And we will use this to decide what is an appropriate entry to the market. So you could see I'm linking this back to whether this is a commoditized uh, 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 approach, so you are competing with a commodity, how are you going to differentiate it? Or do you wanna do, uh, uh, for example, um, innovation, disruptive innovation, or do you wanna do it as a novelty kind of approach? Now, the beauty of this, there's no right or wrong. Any one of them, if you put the right strategies and you identify the most appropriate kind of entry that is suitable for you, you may succeed. 
Then we will move on to uh, having um, you know, the business objectives and, uh, and, and also so core competencies, business objectives, uh, strategies, and some uh, 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 maybe a complete business plan as time permits. So this, we will be doing this over the, today's two hours and Friday's uh, two hours. Now, uh, is there any question? Because this is, you really need to ask questions rather than you go to Starbucks and suddenly, like, I don't know, six people coming in with a camera and you don't know what to do. Nick, you have something in mind? You can ask. Yeah, if, if you don't like it, we can edit it later, we can remove it. So you think you know what you are going to do? Yeah, Roughly. So who wants to take the Starbucks? So I'm going to put you as group A, B, C. A, B, C. So, so you want Starbucks. OK, so this, what do you want? So t Starbucks is taking Old Town. Who wants Old Town? OK, these guys will take Old Town. You guys to go to the North Frill. So you need to go to the food court and, 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 and work out. Uh, so what are you going to do? So I want you now to have three minutes of discussion within your group, and then you will stand up and tell us what are you going to do, one by one. So three minutes of discussion, and then following, followed by maybe two minutes of telling us, I'm going to go to Starbucks, and I, I'm going to buy a drink, and I'm going to sit, and I'm through that, I'm going to decipher the, the, the value proposition. Another one say, no, 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 I'm going to interview the, I want you to have a strategy rather than you go there and say, oh guys, what to do now? Okay, so start. Yeah. Please work on, on this assignment. I know you are excited about the other one, but Yes, please. Oh, we also have the other coffee shop, you know, the um, what, the Buji, M Buji, yeah. Right. So it should. Ha, ha, um, never heard of it. Oh, it, it's the one at. Uh, sure. Seven. Yeah, right in front of Seven Eleven. So how does it uh, compare? Is it? Mm, it's actually quite similar to Starbucks, right? Yeah, it's actually it's sort, of, kind sort of high end. High yeah. end. Yeah. Price is also high end. Yeah. Right. So m maybe then these guys have to. You see, mm -hmm. there's something very important. It doesn't mean you, because you've studied this, this mm -hmm. will have any impact on your future. Yeah, value course. proposition. Yeah. So when true. we come together later, we will actually break you down in other teams, and oh, so that right. you will bring the sort of Northrell experience. Someone mm -hmm. will bring the high end experience, and right. you come together, and then we will have another maybe three teams that will be developing uh, the different entry to the market and different mm -hmm. strategies. And I hope that when we put you in, into the three other teams. Uh, each team will pick a, a different kind of approach rather than everyone will say I'm going to build another Starbucks that is slightly different and, and, and yeah yeah okay yeah. sure so I don't think the staff will like it you guys are doing Okay. Starbucks. Starbucks. Okay. So what 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 are you planning to do? Approach the staff. Approach the staff member. Right. And what was the what was the question you asked them? <laughs> Probably ask them why they think they are better than mm. a fellow competitor. Right. Get a core. So that from there we get a core competency. Yeah, but what if do you think everyone knows what's their core competencies? They should have a rough idea of why they think they are better than right. someone else. Okay. Uh, 
please try that. Try to interview them. Hopefully, they will uh, be willing to. And through that, you also, so if these people kick you out, you, you, you know that, you know, you will have, and even if they want to kick you out, the way they kick you out, they will give you an insight into their culture, into their training, into their, yeah. So, so but don't forget that there are different aspects that you need to look at. So it's not only the, 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 the staff, but the customer, product. the surrounding, the product, the pricing, all these are very important indication of the guys up there in the corporate world. How did they design it and what they think their value proposition is? Okay? So what's the strategy here? So we uh, will uh, we'll divide uh, our group into further two groups. Yes. Then we are going to observe the menu. One group, sits One group sits outside. Right. So we are going to observe the menu. We are going to see what is ordered generally. Then we are, we are going to observe the people, what are they actually doing there while they, they order and, and they wait for their order and they eat. Yes. Then what is their uh, average bill? Right. Uh, approximately how long everyone is actually there. Uh, we ordered. Uh, we, we see the variety of coffee that is available. Right. Then we go for. Uh, then we observe the service. What is the sort of service they're uh, they're providing? Are they are they quick in serving or are they going to take a long time? Are they going to delay and, and maybe frustrate you? And uh, would someone in a hurry, uh, as per that, if someone is in a hurry to grab a coffee, will would someone go there? And we'll also focus on the location and its benefits. Would you like to to, to throw a curved ball on the system? I give you an example. So if you go there mm. and, uh, and and ask them about something that you know they don't understand, maybe uh, you just ask for uh, a standard Pakistani breakfast that they okay. have never heard. Of. Okay, okay. I, I don't know. I don't, okay. they, they work, you know what? Because sometimes you know there are certain systems right. because they have, if you notice, in uh, all town, yes. automated things, right? So yes. even, even the menu come C three one. You know, yes, yes. Tick, tick, and then you, you you get it. So if you come and ask them about, because I one of my observations, they, their staff are very helpful, but the communication skills are a bit off. All right. Take them away, and that's why I think they bring this team, even if they don't speak, or they speak very limited. You could still get because they have, they have, you have a picture, the product is very well described, and then um, the, uh, the slip where you order is also cheap to help the, um, the kitchen in developing and in, in, in providing. I don't know if you want to test the system in that way. It's just your all right, all right, we'll try. Sure. We'll, we'll test them something that they don't yes, know. It's just a proposal. <laughs> I'm not asking you to go and give people tough time. All right, sir. All right, sir. <laughs> Great. Thank you. What did you say about Okay, which team is ready? Which team is ready? You guys are ready. Okay, no, no, no. Before those who are ready, tell us exactly, uh, roughly what you're going to do. And then maybe we can send the camera with you, and then you go and, 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 and do your thing. So you guys are ready? OK, so maybe you can just yeah, tell us what you are going to do. Yeah, so just wait a second. Why? Why? I just said it. I can't read this. <laughs> no? Uh, so, um, 
We have a group of six people. We're going to divide our group into further two groups because Old Town Cafe has two places to sit. One is outside and one by the lake and one is inside. So we're gonna, one, of one group is going to sit inside and one group is going to sit outside. So we, we're going to observe two different kind of people, it's the ones who choose to sit outside and the ones who sit inside. Then we're going to uh, observe the menu, see what kind of food they provide. And then we're going to see what, what the people who are sitting there are doing. Are they doing their assignments? Are they studying? Are they just smoking and chilling? So that's another thing. And then... What are they? The fourth one is what? Fifth one. Bill. Yeah, we're going to estimate how much the food that each person is ordering, how much it costs. We're going to see what they order and see in the menu how much it is, how much it costs. Then we're going to see how much the, how, how good is the service. Perhaps if someone is in a hurry, would they come and order the coffee from there? So like, let's say it's 8 o'clock and someone has a class and it only has 10 minutes to get a coffee. Would they order from there or not? Then we're gonna see most people, do they uh, take away the food or sit there and have the food there or their coffee there? And then we have to, uh, we're gonna see how the location is because Old Town Coffee in Taylor's Lakeside is placed by the lakeside, by the lake. So we're gonna see if that, that's an advantage for them or a disadvantage for them. So I guess that's pretty much it. Okay, good. So, uh, <laughs> My suggestion is that for Starbucks. So for, for what you can tell is, look, we have an assignment. Would you allow us to bring the people in? They say, no, no. Then you will be shoot, shooting this. I mean, the guy is like, like you know, he's like, oh, I kill you. I'm going to complain, whatever. That's even better. We get that on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we, we can always stand in the area that's not theirs, and we do whatever we want. Okay. So I'm going to go there and uh, buy coffee, actually. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go with you, and I'm going to buy coffee. Do we need to bring our bags? Uh, you can leave your bags here. You can leave your bags here. I'll, I'll make sure that either someone is here or I lock the door. Hello, hi, good morning. Well, great. This is a MOOC exercise, so now we are testing the service right. here. Yeah. So someone would like to go and check whether they will allow us to film or not? Can I ask where's the manager? Excuse me? I want an iced coffee. Take away. Please. All right. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, sorry, are you came before me? Oh, thanks. Were you here first or be first? You are first. Okay. okay. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. What? The, uh, they seem to be like not saying anything. They're, they're confused, so you go and do whatever you want to do. Confusion is good. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, is this for me? Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I I, I know some I know some customers here. If you want to interview, actually, yeah. But you can, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so see you like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Try not to make it to, to drag so that we can have time to develop the, uh, the value proposition hopefully by today. Cool, thank you. Basically, this is the menu. I don't know if you've come to Old Town before, we just take the papers and write the codes of the food you want and then they will bring the order for you. So let's just order something for the sake of since we're here. Uh, mostly breakfast sets here. Yeah, and uh, this is what most of the people are ordering here. No one is just having a coffee or a drink. Yeah. Most of the people are having a And the good thing is about the Sarai. Uh, yeah, there's like 23 different breakfast sets. This is what people are doing. I'm just gonna order. Let's see. Of the they, have coffee. Yeah, they do have coffee though, so if you want to take away, I think it's possible as well. But mostly people I can see from the counter are just ordering after they order and they ate here. They want anything to eat? Uh, what was the thing is that we just had our breakfast, so we just want to have something more sweet or something. So I, I think we'll go for this. Okay, so you want that? Yes, yeah, normal one. Yeah, we have the like Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to see my manager? Ah, uh, no, no, it's okay. It's no, okay. okay. And um, do you have uh, kapsa rice? Kapsa rice. Kapsa rice. You know what? It's a, it's a Arabic food. Do you serve them? Oh, you don't have it. Yeah. Alright, alright. So we'll have this at this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I tried to purposefully, you know, give him cups or things. And he tried to convince me to, to, to order this. Order the set again. Yeah. So I pay overall more, so it's a marketing strategy. They force me to pay more. And then some, I think I have discount over here if I order this. So, currently I just ordered this. Let's see how long it takes. The services got they were, they were quite good, you know? they, they came from the menu. I think there's quite a lot of discounts and promotions, like additional um, promotions that can entice people to buy more. You tried to convince us for, for the menu that you go for the breakfast, then you get the drink, and then this is going to be cheaper yeah. if you have it as add-on. There's so many choices, also like yeah. two, three different choices. 23 choices and, and he just came and gave the bill straight away. <laughs> Didn't take time. He just ordered like two minutes ago. Let's see how long it takes. Quite full. Yeah. So as per that we have to also take into account it's full. So how long it takes for that. But we didn't should we order a coffee? No. No, we get they ordered a coffee, I think we have to call it. Okay, sir. Well, uh, 
my opinion in this place, what I, uh, what I see people, they come here is because of the well design of the place and uh, the comfortability of the chairs. Uh, besides that, I can see uh, the, there is an LCD screen, so maybe some people, they come here to watch important matches. Besides that, also you can hear the music, also uh, had a good influence to uh, students. Besides that, uh, too many in the place here, uh, it's like a social place, together a lot of people. Also, you can, you can see a lot of groups, they come here, it's suitable for group, group students to come here, whether to study, to eat, to have fun, to chilling, and also you can see some students here, they come for dating. Um, that is uh, my uh, opinion for this thing. <coughs> in my opinion, the, the, it's a, the environment is really good and the right there is a, and for this coffee house there's a really big variety of food, large variety of the food and uh, 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 the food service is good, just now we order food and it, I think it took like six to seven minutes and but the, uh, most of the people who come here are not in a rush so you can say something like that. That's all. You mentioned about the ordering? Mm, you can mention it. I mentioned it in the first place. He's there and he's here. So I was thinking maybe if we could stop him for a while, we go and help the other team to start, and then we could move here and there. Okay, we could cover together. So you need to record something first? Uh, so I'll be waiting for you to have to do Sorry, the other thing is, you see, we really need to record their activity, not just because this can be anywhere, right? But when you go out, when you drive, when this will be very. Um, so as you can see, this is what I've ordered. Uh, I don't think I could have get this at any other regular coffee houses. So, but Old Town was a choice for me. So if I want to have a full breakfast, I could just go through the menu, see what I want, and I felt really hungry today. So this is a big, big dish that I ordered. So the variety of menu is definitely one of the top reasons so many people are here. And uh, ordering is really easy. You just have to pick a paper here and write the food you want, the code, and then they'll bring it to you really fast. So I think this is the, one of the reasons there are so many people here. Right this. And then the right this. Not many people are smoking really. <laughs> The design of the place and then the start right hmm. So we found people discussing, surfing net, doing assignments, basically having breakfast. And everybody that we know here has ordered something. Nobody has just come here and just sat around idle and not ordered anything. Um, your order is here it came in four minutes time and this is rush hour uh, plus we were served very well they came they opened the the menu they start talking about everything they wanted to convince us to to go for our breakfast so that our dessert and maybe coffee was cheaper mm. then we asked them this this question uh, what they did not have in their menu and he was surprised and they don't have but we asked something else other than their menu. Neither did he have any knowledge. If you see the staff is working quick. They're not slow. They're moving around very, very swiftly and everywhere around. Uh, there are a lot of people, sir. Plus the music that they have is at very, it's, it's, at a, it's a volume that's not disturbing you. Uh, but it's just there to maybe provide that extra effect. What do you think? What about and what about the TV? What do you think? The TV, you know, generally they have it on. Yeah, because I think they don't want like uh, too many people to come inside or and, and start watching TV, right? Yeah. They want people at rush hour to just come, eat, and go. Yeah, the sitting is not really comfortable. Oh for yeah, the chairs, yeah. Sitting. They don't have. There's no backrest. There's no backrest. They want you to just 
but but if you see on the sides you can sit there but this area they have specifically designed in a way that maybe maybe so that their workers can move the staff can move quickly there is no tripping over problem there is no uh, uh, problem to move they can move swiftly quickly the comfortable seat actually is quite limited huh? yeah and the limited seating for the comfortable seating is very limited and the inside area can can i think accommodate right 60 to 70 people if if they work at full capacity 70 maybe more because there are around 16 table you said yeah. 6 16 these tables multiply by 4 about 64 That's and plus all this yeah, 80 because we could have talked more there is more <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah let's go do you know what's happening? Yeah. You came late. Did they brief you? Did you brief him? Okay. He has been very high. They're taking video, so. I'm, I'm tasting the coffee around the campus to establish which is the best coffee. So I'm going to mix your coffee now. <laughs> Give me any free coffee, huh? I vlog about you. Hi. I want a small Americano. What? Uh, no, take me away. And uh, do I have staff? Excuse me. Um, we actually um, we're doing a subject called business skills for engineers. Yeah. Okay. So um, we we actually uh, we actually just want to do an interview with one of your staff and uh, customers around. Is it possible? Uh, it's it's a very short uh, so interview. Uh, okay. Is it going to be just campus based? Uh, yes, just campus. Uh, is it just campus based or? Yes, yes, yes. yes it's just campus based. Alright, if it's campus based then it's alright, but uh, okay. if you want to upload uh, like to worldwide then you can get to the page. Okay, alright. I think in a small quantity is okay. Okay, alright. Um, so, um, yeah. I'm also a student here, so it's chopped. Okay, yeah, so um, you guys might want to interview. Uh, can we interview you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, alright. You need to get the mic close to the table so you can do Okay, okay. Um, yeah, we can do it outside if you want. Right? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Sit, sit around there. You, uh, hold the mic. You, you don't mind just ask you a, a few questions? Yeah, sure, no problem. Um, just wanted to know why, why you chose to work in Starbucks over other outlets, other um, coffee... Coffee outlets? Yeah, coffee outlets. I like coffee and I need to find a part-time job. Right? So when I saw this record, coffee record. machine... Uh, so do I start again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so basically I needed to find a part-time job and uh, I found out that Starbucks is a very systematic. And the coffee machine here they use is a very high quality coffee machine. It's a manual coffee machine instead of other Starbucks where they use auto. This one still uses the manual machine. Yeah. And uh, also because um, the pay is good, and uh, I got promoted quite fast. Yeah, but I'm a still a student barista, a part-time barista. Did, did you go through any sort of training to begin with? Uh, I took another personal training, which is a diploma in advanced barista training. And here also they do provide training. Yeah, but before that already, I had my training done at Corfax. So is training a prerequisite of being a staff at Starbucks? Uh, no, actually they do provide their own training which I was, uh, it was uh, optional for me because I had my own training already. So I wanted to gain more noise, so I also took that training as well. So it's like... So what does the training, the Starbucks training entail? The Starbucks training is about basically basic coffee knowledge. Yeah. So they will teach you how to make coffees and all, but they don't teach you the advanced stuff. Lah. Like for example, how to pour a latte art or anything. They just teach you the basics, which is very important as well. Um, how about handling customers? And yes, they do teach us how to read their signs, the body language, how to read their mood and all, and um, how interactive they are. If they are not so interactive, you know, you don't be so nosy and all. Yeah. 
do you like the uh, working okay, is Sorry, is this your, is this the first hour, Starbucks hour that you're working at? Uh, basically, I've worked in a few. Yeah, they will transfer me around when the other stores are busy. So I've been transferred to Tropicana Mall, been transferred to the Hub Singh, Manara Hub Singh in KL. So but generally, how, how do you see the working environment? Mm, the working environment is uh, pretty good, I guess, because uh, I'm studying diploma in culinary arts, so I worked in a hotel before. Yeah, but I feel that, you know, life is uh, sometimes quite tough. Not sometimes quite tough, it is tough, so people can be tough as well. Yeah. It's all up to us whether we want to take it in or not. Does Starbucks offer anything special? Um, firstly, because Starbucks, we provide a coffee house experience, wherefore we provide maximum comfortability and we cannot say no to a customer. Yeah, so it's one of our policies to ensure the customers uh, has a maximum satisfaction when they enter this door. So that's the main... Uh, selling point. Yes. Um, do you have any idea about Starbucks business objectives? Uh, Starbucks business objectives, that one is quite confidential, but our we can tell you about our mission and our vision. Yeah, sure. Well, basically, it's written down there. We are supposed to provide our customers uh, maximum comfortability, make them feel at home, and always give them a really big welcome because they are also a part of family. Mm. So it's, it's more customer based than, than, than anything else? Right? Yes, because uh, it's like we interact with the customer if like any requests, we cannot say no and we're supposed to treat them like our brothers and sisters. Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. Alright, thank you. So your yeah, lecture already on the... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, we're going to interview one of the students now. Can you follow us? Yeah. Weiji, Weiji. Um, hi, uh, my name is Sarat. Um, I'm an on-campus student. Your name is? Jasprit. Jasprit. Okay. Um, we're actually um, studying business skills for engineers. We're actually doing. Um, uh, something like a business plan. We we we're just trying to study Starbucks. I would like to ask you a few questions. Do you have time? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, firstly, I'd like to ask, um, how often do you come to Starbucks? I come to Starbucks maybe once a week, once every week, lah. Okay, once a week, yeah. Okay. Um. So, what do you actually uh, uh, when you come to Starbucks, what do you actually purchase usually? What what type of coffee or? I don't purchase the coffee mostly because I don't like coffee. I like their signature hot chocolate. Okay, the signature hot chocolate, yeah. Okay, um, so um, uh, how much are you actually willing to spend on Starbucks? Usually? Usually, yeah, because I, since I've bought the tumbler, so I usually get about 10 bucks for the signature of chocolate. Okay, so um, I, I've been told that this, uh, if you get this tumbler, you get a um, um, discount, is it? Two bucks off? Everybody just doesn't know. It says that if you, buy any, if you bring in any tumbler, it's not the Starbucks tumbler. Oh, it's any tumbler. Okay, it's right. written there. In any tumbler, you minus two bucks off your drink because they use one less paper cup. Okay. Um. So um. Do you own a Starbucks card? Yeah, I own a Starbucks card. Uh, how how much discount do you get off the Star Starbucks card? You don't exactly get a discount. You get a privilege that if you buy a drink, you get credited into this list. That if you buy ten drinks, you get one free. So it's like a checking system. Like after you buy ten, with the card itself, it's still the same price, but they give you a free di drink after ten drinks. Okay, uh, I was told that the Starbucks card uh, is something like uh, you can top up and uh, use it. It's like a touch and go card. Okay, it's like a touch and go card, yeah? You get your rebate after 10 drinks, you get one drink free. In a way, it's like a rebate. Lah. Okay, um, I would like to ask the um, last question. Uh, what services do you actually like about Starbucks? The services I like is the... You mean, I in, can I include the, cu the customer, not customer, the, the people, I mean, who work here itself. They uh, are very friendly towards the people. And then their services, their Wi-Fi also is quite okay, it's not bad. Everybody says it's slow, but it's not so bad as well. And the coffee is just nice, and the environment. Okay, uh, do you think um, um, it's convenient coming here because they've got plug points everywhere and it's, um, the, the seating arrangement is in such a way that it's very comfortable? Yeah, it's quite comfortable. And also the aroma, if you actually see, uh, most of them, they put the coffee bean bags at the side, so it gives the aroma of coffee. Okay. So it has a nice aroma and a nice feeling. All right. Using the place in the background as well.
Okay, thank you so much, Jasprit. My name is Sarit. Nice meeting you. Thank you. And this is my friend, Je uh, Jeff. Uh, Vijay, thank you. Okay, so start discussion. Then. So, oh, then if you are here, maybe you can come with this group then. Yeah, so these guys are going for the, the mama. Okay. Very good. Satu Milo ice. Yeah. Yeah. Satu means one because you see we have oh, yeah. people from uh, <laughs> other parts of the world. Yes, yeah. So uh, you, do, do I yes, drink to that? Yeah, whoever whoever is ordering. So we get a so um, uh, one that was one Milo ice. Uh, and anyone else ordering anything? Uh, well, I want Milo ice. Slim ice. Yeah, two slim ice. Yeah, lemonade, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Teo ice. You have to speak, speak it up into the mic. In English. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything? You want anything? Food or anything? Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. So would you like the menu? Would you like to have the menu? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is this your first time in India? Yeah. Yeah. No, we eat here. Yeah. Or you like this place? You like this place more than the other places? Yes. Why? Uh, the food is good, uh -huh. the chicken is nice, right? and it's cheap. Right, we'll speak to this thing. The food is good? The food is good, the chicken is good, and the price is right. Okay, cool. You don't have to use it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes. So... <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, I'm gonna take copy tarik. Yes, ice. And um, I am Kampur. I am Kampur. Yes. What you want? This one I am chicken mix. What you want? Me, me with chicken, Hindu with chicken, vegan with chicken, with chicken, with chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you repeat that again here? Yeah? Apa you katas kara? Pulang lagi? Yeah. They are all... I am Kampur. I am Kampur chicken mix. What you want? You here have me. Indomie, Bigun, Koi Tio, Maggi Nasi Goreng. What you want? Chicken with rice. 
Chicken rice. Chicken rice. Fried rice. So, um, in the conventional, uh, uh, what, should I call it mama? <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the conventional uh, Malaysian mama, uh, the the environment-wise, okay, it's not it's not as high end as uh, Starbucks. It's not as high end as Starbucks, but um, it caters to basically the general the mass market, whereby um, it's it is sufficient. For people um, for, uh, who are, you know, n not, would not, who doesn't want to spend that much. So, yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, food, you can, as you can see uh, earlier, there was like a lot of variety of choices. So, uh, yeah. And, and do you think it's, also, it's only an, a matter of not wanting to spend much? There are people who, who actually like the environment as well, isn't it? Yeah, uh, basically this is sort of the Malaysian culture whereby it's very free and easy. So yeah, a, a lot of people do like this this uh, environment because you know it is very free and easy. Yeah. So, so I, I'm, uh, I'm mm -hmm. going to leave you now. I really hope that you won't just eat. We, we can still get the other mic as well, right? So you guys, you can speak. No, you can speak. You cannot get this. Okay. Only this one. So that one is just for sure. <laughs> okay. No. Yes. You, you you need to come closer if you, you want to speak. But the kid, the, yeah, we can speak to the mic. We can send this. You just pass the mic. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 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 I I hope that you won't only eat, but do the observation as well. See what other people are doing. Why are they doing? It? How is you know? How is? Always remember. We are here. To pinpoint the value of position. Something maybe they've never heard of, but they were asking where to, or to, to find the value of position for this place, what would that be? And the, the segment of the market, because eventually we really want to see is there any gap that's not served so that we could, you know, serve it? Or it's, they serve A to Z, so you have to either eat or do. Uh, disruptive innovation. So disruptive innovation just to throw out something. For example, if we give coffee for free, that's very disruptive. Very disruptive. But how will you make money? You need to have a business uh, a business model for that. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Within 20 minutes, I expect you down okay. there so that we start working. Sure. Do you want to say anything? Okay. Or do you have a short discussion? Uh,
Right, the question is the keywords. There's a tendency to ask the So why is that Oh, 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 you know, maybe there are other things within the value, which is the experience, the service, whatever. I want you to refer to your lecture, unless you really have just a good there, because there's a tendency that you know, we don't, uh, you know, we don't read the theoretical framework and we go through that. So just to let you know, later I'm going to again take maybe three from you, three from you, and then I form a team that needs to form in the landscape of the coffee on campus. In terms of which one is common with which one is normal, and uh, is there any answered just for a second? So this, you suddenly find that these places, for example, doesn't cater for the D, for example, or doesn't cater for the staff. And you've seen all these tools, but there's no staff. The staff <laughs> A different way. Then suddenly there is a hole in the market of the flight. Or maybe it's something that you need to go and disrupt. Remember disruptive innovation? So how, how would we, for example, do a disruptive innovation here? Certain you, you see, that's the thing. We need to read here. I mean, why didn't you just go in there? So the disruptive innovation was the thing that comes from the door. Remember you have two lines, which is the expectation, the lower end, the higher end. Someone comes from the lower end. In the beginning, people laugh at you. They say, this will never, it will never pick up. And eventually, you know, poach into your Yeah. Remember we said the move is a disruptive innovation. So, so the book, everyone say, nah, there's no credit, you know, there's no that, you know, I don't But maybe suddenly, the universities, without realizing, everyone is taking MOOCs. The industry is accepting MOOCs. And maybe the university closes down because there is a free book. That's less disruptive innovation. Yeah. So, for example, if we go in here with free coffee, that's a disruptive innovation. But what would be the business model? How are you going to make money to eat to a different way? You get me? Say, oh, that was the one, you know, we, we always think of cost newness, but there's a new one that... You, you get it? Yes, I was Is this your notes? Yes. I okay, so this you're not from the... Yes, yeah. 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 Or you could just refer to... Your slides. The, the slides, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So have you, have, you, have, you, have you opened the slides? Yeah. You said yeah. Where is it? He, he didn't open it. No, no, Michael opened it. Where is the slide? Okay. So you, you've copied it there. Yeah. Okay, okay. I just wanted to, I want you to, you know, work from the framework that we have provided you. Yeah. Just open the first page. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think the Mama Malaysia actually caters to. I mean, if you want to compare Mama and say Starbucks, they cater to. They could cater to the same crowds, but at different times. Cause like uh, Starbucks could be when people wants to work, uh, or you know, wants to have a bit of like a uh, pay a bit more to have like a bit of a quiet space to do their work or things like that. And Mama will be more like uh, when people want to hang out and talk to their friends and make noise and just enjoy themselves. So. I guess that um, Starbucks is more like well, both of them cater to the general population. It's just that um, the Mama provides a more casual experience compared to Starbucks. Whereas in Starbucks, you you have your privacy, which is something you won't really get in the Mama. So um, it could be a value proposition also. Yeah. Environment. So you guys have anything you guys want to talk about? You can guys. I mean, discussions would be great. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the the, mama, the the quality of service, the food, so? Uh, I think the stuff is very friendly, but uh, sometimes we have a problem uh, to order because this uh, language what we what they talk is uh, I think it's they try to talk Indian or <laughs> something like yeah. I think um, the conventional mama uh, doesn't uh, cat- um, it, it doesn't really cater very well for international students because uh, because of the language barrier because um, uh, well uh, obviously the mama is very Malaysian there's a lot of Malaysian foods and the the service um, they're not very uh, very well uh, prof- they're not very proficient in English so uh, that might pose a problem if they if they want to um, if they want to uh, com- compete in the international market, uh, also there's, there's sometimes the service in the Mama uh, is not as good as um, in Starbucks and whereby they, are, they they value their service a lot. Um, so you, you sometimes the waiters you can expect them. You can, uh, it's, it's very common for like delays in, you know, in obtaining their food. So yeah, that, that's one observation. Um, anything else? Okay. I mean, I beg to differ in the sense that um, although the service may not be as good, but the, you're not coming to the mama for like something like really good service. Most of the time, you're, you're at the mama, um, you're here for supper or you want to chill out or have something light. So what actually happens is that um, you don't really expect the service to be that good, but 
You expect the food and everything that comes with it to be nicer. Uh, wait, I'm not sure. Yours is Milo. Mine is Milo. Uh, yours Milo. Uh, he, he ordered Milo, right? Yeah. Uh, one observation I noticed was that uh, in a Mamak store, normally the customers will come sit down. Uh, it, it's very independent. They can, they have a choice of uh, whether they can. Uh, take their own food or whether they can wait for the waiter to come and uh, whether order something from the menu so that independency is there so um, you can actually choose indoors or outdoors and and the variety of foods is uh, a lot I mean for example drinks you can get hot or cold similar to Starbucks but then there's more varieties but um, it, it's it's very hard to order the high-end coffees like espressos, cappuccinos and everything like that but other than that the quality is I would say com uh, for the items they sell is pretty good yeah. Uh, I feel that the, this uh, mama environment is more suitable for people who want to like uh, chill and have a smoke with friends because the environment here is just like uh, it's a very chilling environment. People often come here to just like you know have a smoke, uh, talk with friends. Just you can just stay here for hours and hours, and the food here are cheap. That's why. That's why I think that. <laughs> um, the coffee is really sweet. <laughs> really sweet. <laughs> you only have one comment. Really yeah. sweet. <laughs> Almost too sweet. <laughs> uh, let me confirm. It's sweet, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Sweet. <laughs> Maybe you. I don't just say something. Maybe your coffee is not so price. Yeah, I mean you can talk about it. Uh, like okay, like this now. What do you kind of remember the cheese or what we said? Like sweet and nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the yeah the coffee very sweet and uh, like what we talked about earlier like the, how the environment is you know. But, um, yeah. I didn't focus. What? Oh, sorry. I didn't focus. Oh, like we talk about the environment like uh, it's it's Can not. You know, yeah, it's a very casual environment. It's not as high end as Starbucks, but it is just enough for you know people for the mass market lah. For for people who are not willing to who doesn't want to spend that much on on coffee. Basically, you know. something like serving the Malaysian the and uh, um, well, yeah, their business their business model is so um, yeah. Anyone but so Mamas are like a trend. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, tempted, are you? So you taste one, one bite, then you comment. <laughs> very spicy. Do you hear anything? Comment on the food. Is huh? the decoration nice? Yeah, the food looks like uh, well, yeah. too hot, too sweet. <laughs> you like that chicken? Uh, yes. <laughs> the food is good. It's enough spicy, yet too not hot. But it's not sweet. Uh, I don't know because I don't eat a lot of Malaysian food. <laughs> oh? oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> So uh, as you can see from the meal, um, it's um, it is actually quite uh, satisfactory as you're you're getting a lot of food, uh, and for the price, it's very good. 
and, and again, um, it's a Malaysian dish. So uh, I mean, um, you you probably won't get uh, this kind of food in the high end uh, coffee places like Starbucks and all. Uh, Moreover, um, the the price of the food is a lot more expensive compared to what you're getting here. Yeah. Just just speak into that, yeah? Yeah, just we are just So they give vouchers at vouchers. 20, 20 ringgits above. So they give you a five ringgit voucher for twenty ringgits and above. Uh, is, that, is that part of newness though? I think they have like new menu items. Yeah, new they keep menu. having yeah, they keep changing. Yeah, exactly. And they have new promotions. Yes, they keep changing the yeah. and they give you vouchers yeah. to come back. They they do the uh, getting the job done, so they serve their customer. And uh, they serve it via the paper. Thing. Yes, yes, yes. So you can write. Um, part of yeah, the Getting the job done, right? Perhaps it's either this or performance. But performance yeah. is like how they process it. This is like how they get the order. Should we? Shouldn't you? No, 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 no. This is not that. This is like I, I think, think the I job done. Like when you have a device, mm -hmm. does it do the job or not? No, so I think it's 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 like food like job is to fill you. The menu has visual, so, so the customers understand that. what it is, yes. like the product, and All right. so everything is very clear. Okay. Let's move to the other group. Yes, you, you guys have a question, so you, let, let the camera come and, and, and yeah. yeah, please. Yeah. 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 You, you just say, sir, you wanted to ask me a question, just now, and I say stop. Please, we don't have time, just, just ask it, just ask, just ask, just ask, please, in the mic. What, what question is ready? Oh, uh, I just want to ask, the value proposition here we're doing is for Starbucks one, it's not for... It's for Starbucks. You see, the whole idea is this. You want to start a new business, right? Mm -hmm. Now, a real case, next to us was a restaurant, next to this building, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's closed down, right? Yes. Why do you think it's closed down? Business. So there's no business. So now, imagine you want to have to, you want to start renting the shop and run a coffee shop, example. Now what you want to do is to see the landscape of, let's say, coffee shops on campus. Now what you need to see is, what is the value proposition of a high end, maybe lower end, a middle range kind of coffee shop. And then the objective is this. Is there any entry of market? Entry to the market, for example. For example, you go around one, two, three, and then you realize that you see only students, you don't see staff, for example. So does that mean maybe the needs of the staff are not really taken care of? Then you start working on this segment. So the staff you know they are working, their working hours are different, they have then maybe you, your shop will cater mainly for them. Yeah. That's just an example. Now, you may say, no, this caters for everybody, but because the lower end caters for a mass market, I want to poach into this. And my way of doing it is, I will differentiate my business through one, two, three. Mm. Or you say, look, Starbucks is too expensive. I'll deliver double the experience at half the price. So that would be your value proposition. Mm. Or you say, look, this is really saturated market. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is I'll go disruptive innovation. So what would disruptive innovation be? An example. Okay, I'll open a shop that gives free coffee. I'll make them all go out of business. I'll give free coffee. Now, how you are going to make money, maybe, you will sell newspapers, and those will come for free coffee, you will buy a newspaper, do a photocopy, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole idea. I want you to pinpoint what is the value proposition segment of the market for Starbucks. Mm -hmm. The other guy will give you the market. middle range, the lower range, and then what I'm going to do on Friday is I'll take three of you three of the other team, three of the other team put you together, so now you have the entire experience and say, okay, now you have all the knowledge about what's happening. How can you build me a successful coffee shop business? Something that I know 100% is going to succeed. 
because you have understood the entire market. Mm -hmm. That's the, ob the objective. So this is not your value proposition of the new yeah. business, is really what Starbucks have mm -hmm. you know, to offer its customers. Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah, clear. Okay. Yeah. Please. So, yeah, so, so now, conceive. yes, so now you read, you need to yeah, quickly yeah. go into and tell me what's the value proposition so that on Friday we can build on that. We have to finish this before we leave today. Yeah. But yeah, I'm Good, clear thanks. now. Thank thanks. you. Thank you. When, when I say business objective, what do you mean by that? Uh, what is why is that uh, business there or what is their main purpose of... Uh, is this the business objective? You see, w what, what we refer to the business objective in our course is if you are running uh, a shop, mm. what kind of profit you want? Right. So 20% before tax. Well, right. uh, what kind of positioning you want? So these are the things that you are, you know, so this is really from the business point of view. Right. Yeah. Not necessarily from the customer point of view. The customer wants the value. So you have a value proposition. Right. When the customer accepts it and pays for it, your business will Run. thrive and achieve hopefully the profitability, the sustainability, yes. the expansion. Yeah. Right. So, so for example, uh, 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 a restaurant could say, uh, my business objectives is often, you know, profit is a business objective. So I say I want 10% before tax or 20% before tax, that would be one. And secondly, I want maybe, I don't know, 50% market share, 30% market share, or they could say, I want to have 100 branches, you know, this kind of things. Right. Yeah. So I, I really think this would be Later. the Friday part. All right. Yeah. So, so let's focus on the old town. What is the value proposition? And that's you know, the value proposition would be something that is supposedly, if they are good, has to be different from the other, the other competition. Because otherwise, they'll be all the same. It's just like a different name. Right. Yeah. What, what we found was that they, they had a lot of promotions in their menus for mm -hmm. the breakfast. They had a separate set. I mean, uh, if you order their breakfast, you'll get a cheaper coffee. Relatively, if you order it separately, you'll get cheaper dessert. If you order it with with their menu, uh, with their promotion, yeah. then uh, uh, one of our members got got a voucher for five ringgits for ordering more than twenty. Right. So he got a voucher as well. As far as the performance is concerned, we ordered something in a rush hour, mm. and we got delivered in four minutes. Right. So we were quite impressed with the with their performance because the staff sure. was moving swiftly. They were getting the work right. done. They were they opened the menu. They tried to explain as much as they could. The price that that we estimated from from around what we were seeing, it's about 10 ringgits. Mm. A person on average is, is ordering for 10 ringgits. And more importantly, we, we saw them ordering food more than coffee. They, they had coffee, but, but the focus was on food. Not that much on the coffee. Right. And uh, their products, yeah, they, uh, they have the visuals, they explain you why it, and they try to convince you, and they show you as much as they can why their menu, what's the food that they'll be serving. Right. Um, the environment that, that they have, the, the layout and everything, it, it has good music, but, and they made sure that the music is not so much that it disturbs your conversation, okay. it's just, it's just sure. soothing. Then uh, they have TV, it's spacious. And then what, something that we found was that uh, in, in the main, move, m main area, the yep. floor, mm -hmm. they did not have comfortable seatings. It's only on the sides that they had those uh, sofa, sofa sets type of seating. So in the middle, in, in, in absolutely on the main floor, they did not have very comfortable seatings. Okay. So now, how do you convert this into a value proposition? You see, remember when we say you have a new phone. Yes. Very expensive. Performance is not that great. Yet, a salesman can sell that to you. And they will sell it based on? Uh show you the best part of it maybe convince you somehow yeah so how will he convince you because this is something that we so the performance is horrible so this is a new phone cost five thousand uh, dollar very few people have it performance is horrible but yet you will buy it so how will i convince you to buy it it's yeah it's brand value it's like the status it gives it's a you new company 
Yeah. yeah. So this is limited edition. This is for this successful is, yes. people. Yes. You are the first one. Yeah. You have to tell me. Know what when I say, you say yes, yes. Right. So that's how the value proposition is proposed. Proposed, right. What you are doing here, we're just analyzing, but I want you to go and say how Starbucks convinced these people to go and choose them over, let's say, autumn. That's to me is the value proposition. Now you can say, if you really say, but there's no value proposition. There, there's, or value is so weak, it's just good coffee and good music. Because these things, I can tell you, anyone can re replicate them. If it's only about giving you promotions, giving you fast, I can have the, the, the Malaysian stall even beat this with a cooked food. Not, not something from the, you know, they will give you a cooked food within two minutes, three minutes. Am I right? They cook, they cook something very quickly for you. While these people just heat up something that's in existence. So how is this, what is their value proposition? Now, I don't mind that you go and do a search on the internet. So what does Starbucks really, Starbucks really say their value proposition is, and you compare this to, <clears throat> to what you guys uh, have, have, have discovered specifically for this store that's at the Lakeside campus. Because there are books written about Starbucks. You go and search the internet. Go and do it now. This is just describing so, if you recall, the, one of these, if it's really new, is enough to establish value. If it's really, new, if it's really high performance, if it's really, really very cheap, if it's really getting the job done compared to other people who cannot do the job, it's really if the design is really different, you can feel like wow. You, you know, when the iPhone first came out, he, they pick few of these, right? So it's new. And the design is different. Now, now the design is no longer different because it, become the no, it becomes the norm. That's what we expect from a smartphone. The, the hand gestures and all these things are expected. Now, for you to come up with a new thing, you, it really has to be new. Do, 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 do you get the point? Yeah. So please move on quickly. Do a, uh, internet search, see whether they really delivered on the value proposition they promised or not. Okay, we need to finish very quickly. So, so to cut the... Well, okay, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Have you guys checked how the value proposition established or not? So you need to refer to the notes. Okay? So you're right, it's newness, price, performance, but you have to write that, write all of them. I know that everyone will remember the the newness, the the cost, but there's performance, the there's the brand, there's getting the job done. Now getting the job done, for it to be a value proposition, it has to be what? Six yeah. Yeah. It has to be, if it's getting the job done, is a value proposition, it should be a job that other people cannot do. You cannot say that, oh, I make coffee, but he also can make coffee, you also can make coffee. You, 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 you can bring some instant coffee from home, get some hot water, put it in, it's gonna be cheaper. Yeah, so these are the things that you need to establish. Yeah. And, and I really warn you, it's up to you, you could go through all these things one by one, or you, can you really pick one or two that are through which that mama shop is different from um, the other the other outlets. So, so for example, is the price, is, is, it, is it the price? Yeah. So if it's the price, let's focus and say these people stand for the price. And, and then, and then you, you, you work, so then you, you write what is the value proposition. So it's, but it's clean, so it's clean. So it's definitely not new, right, uh, Eric? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not new. Can yeah. I just cut it off? Okay, <laughs> okay. sure? Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. So, okay, so yeah, if you have, yeah. yeah. So, because we have to be done by, we have to be done by 10. 10. Okay. 
Yeah. So I really am hoping that we get the quick presentation, and I want you to uh, feel free to continue working on this from now until Friday. The more you work on it, actually the better. So the quality of the work that we could do on Friday, if you do preparation, would be even higher, and that will, you know, will enable us to get prepared for future tasks in a better way. So so for this to be if it's on price, it means their value proposition is for everything that they are offering, they are the cheapest. So their coffee is the cheapest, the tea is the cheapest, their breakfast is the cheapest. There's no way you can find cheaper than them anywhere on campus. So that's they say, okay, you come here, I guarantee you that's gonna be getting the job done, and it is the cheapest. If you find any cheaper coffee, I'll reimburse you again. For example, yeah, okay. Okay. Of oranges. Uh, for meat, it is. <coughs> Are you ready to present? Where's the, where's the value proposition? First one. The first one, which is brand status. This one? Yes. Yeah. Which one? <coughs> this. So it's brand and new and price and customer service? <laughs> and environment, all of that? Okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This, is, this, is, this is extremely important. So I ask you a question, just like I asked the other, the other team. Switch it on, yeah. OK. So the question is, do you remember when we talked about the first mobile phone? So how was the performance? Lousy. Lousy. How was the size? Big. Big. What was the price? Expensive. Expensive. So it's lousy in terms of performance, so large and cumbersome, and it doesn't, and it's not, it's, so it's expensive, doesn't really do the job that well. Not many people have it anyway, so that you could communicate with them. So how did the salespeople, the marketing people, how did they market it? How did they sell it? By being new. So that's new. So that's. You focus on this, it's new. Now when you tell me this is new, you, 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 your hand on your heart, what's new about coffee? It's the way they sell the coffee is new. So how's that new? You, you, you keep that in and let us continue. The, how, like eco-friendly, they give you the lower price if you bring your own tumbler. So they sell it slightly cheaper than the normal price. Right. So, so, so this is, you consider this new. So how much is the difference in the price? I think two ringgit less than normal. Right, any drink? Yes, any drink. I see, okay, so, so, so this, you, you felt this is new. Okay, what is this, seasonal coffee? I don't know, is <laughs> It's like for when there's uh, Christmas, they'll have the special kind of coffee, just for Christmas. Then after Christmas, it's over. Right. Like, that kind of coffee. I see. Yeah. And 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 do you think how many customers are actually getting this? I mean, do you think this is well uh, communicated? Because you know, I do buy coffee, and uh, I think if they give me this discount, I would have brought them my cup. Yeah, my cup. Yeah, but uh, uh, so is this one of the reasons why people go to Starbucks? I think so. Yes, those who drink coffee every day, they would use this. Because it's cheaper to bring your own tumbler to buy coffee every day. Mm. So you save two ringgit every day. So let's say you buy for five days, you yes. save ten ringgit. Yes. That buys you another cup of coffee. Right. Yeah. Okay, so, so you think this, this is, uh, you, you, in your interviews with the people, they actually are aware of it and they are... Yeah, they're aware. You can, I think you know what they say. The, the customers, not the staff. Yeah. yeah. The customers are customer, aware of yeah. this. It's the interview, customers review. Right. Okay. So, so you think this is this is new? At least in a Malaysian context, is considered new. I think in overseas, but maybe overseas the price is 
not too high that is maybe don't really applies. Right. Okay, so what about this brand? What, what, okay, from, from, from the, do, do you think there are people who actually go there because of the brand? Not me. I think maybe some people. Mm. Okay. State, so, so, so it gives you a status. Okay. So that's, I, I think that's, that's fair. That's fair. Um, Maybe only in Malaysia, I think. Right, yeah, because it's expensive here, but I think overseas is. It's just like any, you know, I mean, there, yeah. and there are many competitors as many well competitors, who will yeah. give maybe even better coffee, so. Yeah, yeah. Only in Malaysia. Okay. okay. What about this? The, the so this is this, the, right? This, yeah. Then you have the cashless card where you put in money to the card, then you use the card to buy coffee, and you have a special thing for every. Yeah. 10 coffee, you get one free coffee. I see. And you're buying the pastry, you get some, I don't know, buy five free one. Uh, okay. Or something like that, yeah. Some right. promotion, yeah. Okay, so, and uh, customer service? Oh, staff can never say no to the customer. Yeah, that's when they interview the staff. That's what they said, yeah. Right. And that's why when we wanted to film, they cannot say no. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, can you can you write this in a sentence form? Sentence. Yeah. So just let's say so. We, Summarize so, everything. So if you were in uh, Starbucks uh, management, how would you say your value proposition is? Now, what I want you to do is to actually compare this. You know, I was I, I was thinking you guys are doing Starbucks, but I think all town do have their uh, value proposition as well, right? So and you compare it to what they say their value proposition is. Because there are books written about, yeah. about that. Case study then, yeah. yeah. So can you quickly do that? So try to write this as one a sentence. A few sentences also, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. But the key thing is you put yourself, if you are the CEO of Starbucks, how would you say that say. your value proposition is? Mm -hmm and compare it to what the company actually, say, actually yeah. says. Yeah. And do, do, does it really the same? Is it really, and that's a very interesting kind of uh, exercise. Okay. okay, Ken. So guys, any success here? Uh, have we, have we, have, have you done any, any search on, online on, on old, old Town? They have this take your time, because I see this take your time, right? They, they say they're, uh, uh, yeah. But I don't think that's true. So, so you, you, you put, oh, yeah. 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 So, so online, what, what do they claim that their uh, value proposition is? Um, online, they claim that their priority proposition is more towards providing a very comfortable and good service uh, and that kind of like Malaysian hospitality in a way yes. um, to all the customers. Yes. So, but, Did um, you feel that? No, we didn't really feel that because we can actually see that a lot of people are just eat and go. Uh, probably because of the kind of like sitting that is not really comfortable for long term, not like um, other coffee shops yeah. like um, that provide so far. When I purchased the coffee from Old Town, again, it was very purpose driven. You know, the girl just took my money and you know didn't even look me in the eyes. I don't think that their staff, they're very, very good people. But I don't think they are trained to say, so what's your name, sir? And you know, you know, there's, it's, it's very different from, let's say, Starbucks, where they say they cannot say no to the customer. I don't think these people are trained to that level. They will efficiently deliver. So you see, you see the difference? Because yes. I see in all your advertisement, they say, take your time, right? And this is a place you're supposed to go there and, and, and sort of relax and enjoy the Malaysian hospitality, but it doesn't really add up. As a matter of fact, all this, None of the staff is Malaysian, right? Um, we are not sure. I, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, they, are, I don't think they, are, so. they are not. And, and I don't think they are trained actually also in, in, in that. So you see, do you see now how, how, what the management think the value proposition is, what the customers, uh, the customers still apparently there's something good about this place, right? So they are still coming, going there because apparently there is some value. Otherwise they would have gone somewhere else. So what I want you to do is to re-decipher this, and then if there is any difference between the proposed 
I mean, the value they, they think they are giving and the value that the customer is really receiving. And, and that is maybe something interesting for us to, to think right. about. So yeah. um, what we think the value proposition actually is, yes. is um, the brand value. Because um, for the benefit of all the online students who's not from Malaysia, um, a coffee shop is something that has been in Malaysia for hundreds of years and it's a very traditional and kind of like homey kind of experience but a lot of these coffee shops are kind of run down and um, not very clean and and it's old-fashioned and what I think Old Town is doing is basically taking this um, traditional kind of food and drinks and all this kind of thing and repackaging it into something that's modern and classy and make it um, an experience that people want to go to uh, not just for the food but for the status as well because um, I don't think like people uh, executives and that kind of thing they want to be seen at a coffee shop um, you know, when they try us up nicely, but um, Old Town is some place that they don't mind going and they can experience like Malaysian cuisine and all that, but still at a better kind of environment. So do you agree with him? So if this is the case, it means actually we are not talking about price, right? Yeah. We are not saying that this is the cheapest. Or, so it, it is about that. This is actually going, you're getting closer. Because, because here, as, as if you have a checklist that you need to put something in each and every one but this is not necessarily you could you see that if you are if you are able to to, to really deliver and distill your value proposition you could literally sell it three four five ten times your competitor and if you can convince me of the value people will still buy that we, we've seen it right in all these luxury goods when you focus on the status on the brand People will, will take, you know, the same thing. There are there are there is there is this thing in, 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 in I think in China where it's the same TV that this factory makes. You can take it and just stick your brand on it. And that will double the, the price. Now when I say the brand, it's not only you just put a sticker. So if you say this is assets brand, it means there is after sales service, there is if there's an issue with it, people will come back to you. So there are definitely it's not as simple as I have, but this brand it it, get, it gets its value from where? From the fact that I know if this TV is broken, even a year from today, I go to asset, asset will replace it for me. So if this is a if this is a brand promise, then I know that this is the value of you know that that brand. But if the brand Anything happens to the to the to the customer experience. They actually they they won't won't be there for you. Then it doesn't it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. So so now you think it's actually not about that, but maybe about the brand and the design. I don't know. So you need to really get this so that when we put this all together in one landscape, we know where we stand. We really place these different players, and we see is there any gap for a new business. Or if we are very convinced that there's no new gap, then this is not a business that we want to go in. We don't want to even invest. But I, I will insist that you find a way to go in. So that we go into the core competencies and the strategies and things like that. Okay, so can you write this down as a sentence now? Yeah, so, so if you were the new CEO of Old Town, and then you see like, maybe they are saying something, but the delivery is different. And instead of changing the delivery, you say, look, something is working here, and our new value proposition is this. Then you start improving it and communicating it and letting your staff and customers know about it. Okay? okay. Thanks. Okay. Have you written it as a, as a sentence? Please. So how are we doing here? Uh, we, are, we are like almost finalizing the value proposition. Right. Yeah. That's that's good. Okay, sure. Okay.
casual. Yeah. A casual one. Yeah. Can, you, can you use this while we are talking? Yes. Is this working? Yeah, it's just to record the thing. Just talk to the camera. Do we talk now? Or we okay. You are number one, two, three. Please remember that. One, two, three. Remember that. You are please remember this number, you are number one. I, I'm not sure we can send you everyone. Three. 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 It's a So, a casual environment. So, that caters to everyone. So, mass market. Yes. Do we talk about our uh, discussion process or you just go straight to the value proposition? No, you just, you just tell us what's the value proposition that you have uh, identified. Okay, for us, the. Towards the camera? Yes, towards the camera, yes. Okay, for us, the value proposition that we have identified is um, serving low cost food and drinks that caters to everyone with. Low prices with freedom to customize and providing a casual environment any time of the day. Wonderful. You really hit it on its head. Customize. If I, uh, if I go to Starbucks and I say, I want you to open this uh, uh, cake and put something else, I, I'm not sure they will be able to. I, I okay. have my mind. All right, sure. to, do the, to do that. <laughs> so this is like this guy, you tell him, add this, remove that, add more spice, add. So this is a key thing. So this is a key. You put a few lines underneath. Oh, yeah. So the customization is something that the other people cannot provide. Which is, I could tell him, can you put to me rice and noodles and whatever together? They'll say yes. People will really do whatever you want them to do. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So they, you, have, you have hit it on its head. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to assign you numbers. Please remember your number. So you're number one. Two, three. Just remember your own number. Don't think of so one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. Okay. Now uh, we are we are going to end very soon. So I want all the number ones to be here. <laughs> all the number ones to be here, here, here. Okay. All the number twos to be here. One here. Two's here. One's here. Two is here. Three's there. Three's there. One. One. Two. Three. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It's okay. One. Two. Three. Why are you? Three. 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 Three, there, there, there. Okay. So we have two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven. Is that, and you are nine? How many of you? Seven. So seven, seven. Nine. Who wants to join this team? But not you. Who wants to join this team? Maybe you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, what I want you to do within every team, what we have is knowledge about Starbucks, Old Town, and the local supply. I want you, please, to find some time to draw the uh, price performance landscape for this market. Now, price performance. Okay, this won't be on the video until we finish the Friday because we put it together. So please, you need to take notes. And if you want to take a, a picture of what I've put there, you can go and, and capture that. So you come on Friday. Please come on time, ready with the price performance so that you guys will tell me 
what kind of coffee shop you are going to establish here? And you guys are going to tell me what kind of coffee shop you are going to establish here and what kind of coffee shop you are going to establish here. Now, I hope that you will be picking different things. So you may, you may still say, I'm going to do disruptive innovation. So I will give coffee for free or I will uh, deliver coffee to the office or, you know, things that no one is doing here. No one actually can deliver coffee to my office. I don't have this service here, I think. So, so maybe this is something that you want to do. Or you have, you have seen that uh, there is a market segment is not catered for. For example, you haven't seen staff members there. Uh, you haven't seen, uh, you have seen mainly uh, uh, male. There is no female and you think there is an opportunity. It's entirely up to you. Uh, uh, you may say, no, I'm going to compete with the Malaysian one. I mean, because this is for mass market, I'm going to do it even maybe cheaper, or I'm going to do the, take the customization to a new level, for example. So that's entirely up to you. But I want you to really draw us the performance price curve, putting Starbucks, uh, the Malaysian kind of shop, and the uh, uh, old town there, specific, uh, uh, respectively. And then you bring this, if, if you can start even thinking of what kind of business you'll do that will make our two hours of discussion extremely fruitful and extremely useful. Can, can we do that? Okay? So, any questions before I stop? Before I let you go? So it's clear? Now, again, if you have questions, please feel free to email me, to uh, come and see me in my office, or even write me something on open learning. Thank you very much. That was really, really good. I really appreciate your, I think you give yourself a very good round of applause. Okay, thanks.